വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു മൈ ചാനൽ മസ് ലൈക്ക് സെക്കൻഡ് ഇയർ എം ബി ബി എസ് സ്റ്റുഡൻറ്റ് ജി എം സി മഞ്ചേരി ടുഡേ വിൽ ടോക്ക് അബൌട്ട് ദി ബുക്സ് ഓഫ് സെക്കൻഡ് ഇയർ എം ബി ബി എസ് ബിഫോർ ഗോയിങ് ഇൻ ടു ദി ആക്ച്വൽ ബുക്ക് ലിസ്റ്റ് ഐ ജസ്റ്റ് ഗിവ് എ ബേസിക് ഇൻട്രക്ഷൻ വാട്ട് സെക്കൻഡ് ഇയർ ഇസ് ആൻഡ് ആസ് ഓൾവേസ് എവറി തിങ് വിൽ ബി ടൈം സ്റ്റാൻഡ് ആൻഡ് യു ക്യാൻ സ്കിപ്പ് ടു ദ പാർട്ട് യു വിഷ് ടു സി സോ വിതൌട്ട് ഫർദർ ഡിലേ ലെറ്റ്സ് ബിഗിൻ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഇയർ എം ബി ബി എസ് വാസ് വെരി ഹെക്ടിക് ബിക്കോസ് എവറി തിങ് വാസ് ന്യൂ ദ കോളേജ് എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് ദി ഹോസ്റ്റൽ എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് ദ ഡിസെക്ഷൻ It is the first time most of us have been subjected to such a huge academic load. So now you have finished your examinations and finally reached the second year. Congratulations. So what's so different about second year? You still have to study a lot. Well, which is quite normal to do so. But the thing is, in second year, the approach is different. We are actually moving into a you know, clinical side. So what are the subjects that we have in second year? We have pathology, microbiology, pharmacology, and forensic medicine and toxicology. and we will also have some clinical postings like medicine ops and gynae and surgery in first year we learned about the normal human we learned about the normal anatomy normal physiology and the normal biochemical reactions that take place in the body in second year we learn about the abnormal human we'll talk about the pathology we'll talk about diseases we'll talk about metabolic abnormalities we'll talk about infections so pathology focuses on diseases and microbiology focus on infective cause of diseases like the pathogens viruses bacteria fungus etc so pharmacology on the other hand tells you how to treat a patient it talks about the medications that we give to a patient the different kind of drugs that are available for a particular disease and all finally you have forensic medicine and toxicology which deals with the law and aspects of medicine it also tells you what is an autopsy and how to do an autopsy how to write a wound certificate how to examine a rape victim all such things will be dealt there in toxicology you learn about the different plant toxins chemical toxins and animal toxins and you will also learn about snakes and then also learn about various poisoning like organophosphate poisoning etc so that's all about the basic idea of second year now let's get straight into the book list as always there will be standard test books and in the others and various short books which are very helpful in preparations of university examinations so i will try to describe all such books that i know in respective subjects Let's begin with pathology. The gold standard textbook in pathology is the Robinson Cotra and Pathologic Pages of Disease. This is actually a two volume textbook. So the thing about Robinson is that this is the best book you can buy out there. Yeah. This is the most beautiful book for pathology. Now every point in pathology is beautifully explained in this book. You can find a lot of diagrams, a lot of concepts and this is the best book for pathology. So if you can, you should start reading this there is another concise version of this robins which is a one volume book known as the robins basic pathology if you don't feel like buying the larger robins then you can also try the basic pathology book it is indeed a large book but the initial discomfort will soon fade away once you start singing with the author like i always say don't be afraid of the book size so these two are the standard textbooks of pathology now let's go to the indian authors we have the dr ramdas naik textbook of pathology it's a very beautiful book everything is explained in a conceptual manner instead of using paragraph this book have bulleted points so it's very easy to read and it is very suitable for university exam preparations another textbook is hirschmoin textbook of pathology it is also a beautiful book it have a lot of diagram which are suitable for you know reproducing in the examination hall all these books like hirschmoin and ramdas naik they are all made from robins you can find exact statement from robins in these books So if you are not willing to read Robbins then you can refer to Ramdas Naik or Hirschmoyer there are a number of review books of pathology there are Robin Geiger's textbook of pathology uh, Devesh Mishra sir's textbook of pathology and even Vandana Puri and Pravin Gupta sir textbook of pathology uh, there are different books but uh, it's your choice nowadays review books are getting outdated because you know most of us are uh, using various pg preparation apps so if you are interested in review books you can try this book now come to the second subject that is microbiology coming to microbiology we have the apurba sangha shastri's test book of microbiology which is a beautiful book uh, this book explains everything in a beautiful manner instead of using paragraph this book uses bulleted points which makes it very easy for university exam preparations i relied completely for my microbiology on this book the edition that i used actually used to describe an organism in complete like it begins with the virulence factors of the organism how it causes the disease what are the diseases it causes how do you diagnose it in the laboratory what are the specimens that you take and how do you treat the disease now this was the approach in the older edition now there is a new edition book out of aburba shastri i'm very sad to see that the book have really changed itself the authors have changed the way the book explain things in new book they have explained it in such a way that the index is 
skin infections respiratory tract infection genital infections etc so the problem is you will start learning about skin and all the in organism that causes skin infection now it is beautiful in a sense considering the new curriculum but the problem is when you want to learn an organism you have to go through multiple chapters for example you have a bacteria that have a respiratory illness and a skin infection so you have to learn about that bacteria in two chapters it's very distressing what i recommend is if you can buy the older edition because that is the most beautiful book i really don't know why the authors have changed the approach in such a way that it's more difficult now and that's something i wanted to point out so if you are buying a burba shastri try to get the older edition another textbook of microbiology is ananda narayan textbook of microbiology i have been used it personally it's a very old book uh, in fact the most famous books of microbiology but abuba shastri is mostly getting into the friend line because of it you know beauty of explanation ananda narayan explained things in a paragraph eh? Uh, it's not a bad book it's also a good book but i have felt uh, you know more love towards the bullet points of aburba shastri so you can either choose any one of these another sub topic in microbiology is parasitology so we mainly have two books for parasitology dr panikar's textbook of parasitology it's a beautiful book uh, everything is structured more, more in a point wise manner than a paragraph manner it is highly suitable for university exam preparations another textbook of parasitology is again from the same author of aburba shastri that is aburba sangha shastri's textbook of parasitology again a beautiful book similar to the microbiology textbook useful for the university examinations now coming to pharmacology the standard textbook in pharmacology is the kaatsung textbook of pharmacology it's a very beautiful book uh, the concepts are beautifully explained a lot of diagrams in there and it contains a lot of high yielding points in india majority of the students use an indian author named kd tripathi it's a beautiful book a lot of concepts in it the book starts with the mechanism of action of the drug then go to individual drug and explains about almost all the drugs and yes kd tripathi is a huge book but as i have said never be afraid of book sizes once you start reading you will get the flow with the author and everything will be easy so kd tripathi is a good choice for pharmacology now coming to a shortcut book of pharmacology and that is the tara v shanbag pharmacology for medical graduates this is the life savior of most of the medical students now this is not the perfect book for pharmacology uh, that is kd tripathi or kaatsung but if you are a person who have not prepared i'm not motivating you to prepare pharmacology in the end or i'm not motivating you to leave pharmacology and only read tara vishan bhagat end of the month no don't do that things do gets out of control and if you haven't prepared pharmacology till your examination then this book will be a perfect choice it's such a concise book that each and every chapter requires a couple of minutes to read on and that is why it is a life saving book for those who are prepared late for the university examinations now coming to forensic medicine and toxicology i only use the textbook that is available locally known as the ignatius textbook it is prepared by a kerala professor and it's explained in a such a way that it is more suitable for university examinations there are other textbooks like dr reddy's textbook of forensic medicine but i haven't personally used them for forensic medicine i'll recommend you go through some reviews and take a decision because uh, that is a subject that i have read only in the last moment of preparation yeah that's a truth because pharmacology microbiology and pathology we start preparing early but forensic medicine is something that we keep you know to the end uh, that is not a good habit it is an interesting subject but we all keep it for the end because it only comes in one paper in our curriculum but i don't know whether the new curriculum have any addition or changes to it so as of now forensic medicine i would recommend you stick to any textbook that you can find uh, the only thing is you have to read it again and again now in some colleges you have spm that is social and preventive medicine also known as community medicine as part of second year the book for that is park textbook which is the gold standard of community medicine uh, that's the best book you can buy for community medicine out there and now let's come to the clinical posting in clinical posting you mainly have medicine obg that is obstetrics gynec and surgery in all these postings you will mainly learn about the aspect of history taking how to take a history from a patient how to examine a patient etc so i'll tell you the list of books that i used for clinical posting for medicine you can use the books which are more focused on clinical examination and history taking like mcleod's textbook or hutchison textbook you can choose any one of these okay both these are great books you can go through them if the pdfs are available you can go through them and then decide for obstetrics gynec you can either choose dr sheela's textbook or dr datta's textbook both are beautiful books you can choose any one of them for surgery we use the manual of clinical surgery by dr s das that's the perfect book for surgery postings and mind you that all these books they are for your clinical postings they are not the actual textbook of surgery or medicine for obg yes we use sheila and datta in the final years but uh, hutchison mcleod and s das they are all for clinical methods and examination they are not the actual theory textbooks of surgery or medicine 
so that's all about the second year books as always i have one request if you enjoyed this do share the video with your friends so that more people know about this channel and that will motivate me to make more content i hope you guys benefited from this video if you did don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up button and do let me know in the comments how you felt stay inside stay safe and see you in the next video take care